What's up, everybody? Welcome back Hello. to another Nerd Theory. Sorry yeah. we're late today. Not we, me. Josh was on time. I was taking a nap. But I was so late last week that we didn't have an episode, so it's all good. You know what I mean? Even Stevens. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Yeah, so totally. we're, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm not even trying to play like I was doing something sophisticated. I was snoozing, so well, you're also, catching up you're, on the Zs. Yeah, you're, you're doing a lot, though, so you're tired. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, chat, how y'all doing tonight? We're going to talk about a couple theories that we got uh, brewing on the net um, and uh, see what, you know, you guys think of them too. So, Josh, what do you want to start with? You want to start with the Bad Batch or? Yeah, Boba? well, first of all, what did you think of the last week's Bad Batch? I mean, I, I've I've seen some people respond, you know, negatively or whatever, but I just kind of yeah. wondered where, where you were at with it. Uh, last week's was fine. I just... I didn't really like seeing those Martez sisters all that much. Yeah, bro. I didn't like make a big deal of it, right? Because I never yeah, wanted yeah, to go whatever. out there. And it's, it's fine. But at the same time, you know, just the one thing I'll say is that it is interesting that a part of the Clone Wars that was less desirable than the rest, you know, there was a lot of good in Clone Wars. The Martez sisters were not considered to be one that part of it, right? Yeah. So it's a little interesting that that part of it shows back up uh, in the show. But Overall, it was a fine episode. Again, the animation is just ridiculous. It's a joy to watch it. The big reveal, or I guess mystery box, maybe, uh, is the person that they are talking to at the end. And so I guess, you know, everybody's got their theories about who this could be. I think you've got a couple people you think it could be. I have a couple people I think it could be. Um, yeah, so you were kind of thinking uh, maybe a Bail Organa, right? I was thinking Bail Organa, if, I mean, the, the safe route. But if we're going to go something a little more interesting, then I would have to say maybe, um, I know a lot of people are wanting Mace Windu, and of course no one wants Mace Windu more than I do, but uh, I would have to say it's either Rex or um, it could be, I don't know, I don't want to say it, but do you think it could be Cal Kestis? Dude. Or he's too young at this point. So... The thing that we don't exactly know is the timetable exactly for Ahsoka and like where she is at and, and that sort of thing. Because if it was Cal, here's the thing that if it is Cal, wouldn't you think that it would be Cal connected to Ahsoka? Because the Martez sisters had a connection to Ahsoka. I think the natural inclination of people was to think it was Ahsoka, but then the hologram, they call a him, right? Yeah. So it's clearly not ahsoka unless and there's an outside chance that this is going on she's now just pretending to be fulcrum and she may be yeah. a voice changer or something like that right um so yeah it could be cal it could, <laughs> like master and apprentice <laughs> yeah voice changer. Yeah. that would be kind of sick actually you know to, to act like yeah, uh, it's, a totally it's, different person yeah she got like a wig on and everything like i'm a soko no um <laughs> Yeah, it could be, but the Mace Windu, okay, look, it's got to be someone, obviously someone who's interested in clones. And some people are saying Maul. Mm. Now, the reason I would say Maul could be in there would be maybe to uh, create his own sort of army. You know, he's been trying to do the whole thing with the underworld. And so maybe now he's trying to create uh, a batch of clones to go up against the Emperor, because that's his number one goal right now is to challenge palpatine that would be sick um i would absolutely love that and what a cool way to sort of take some of the threads that we know were sort of in george's you know original outline for the sequels and it you know it really does seem like whatever they're leading to in the the mando verse feloni verse or whatever um could be you know doing some of those things and bad batch is a good place to set that up so yeah man that could work and I mean, I would love it. Do you think that we'd actually see that come to fruition and then maybe see like actual battles with like oh, more than that. a few? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, where the heck is Maul at this point? You know? Yeah. That's the thing. We don't really know. Um, but we do know that there's some rumors of, uh, you know, doing some stuff with Kira. She just came back in the comic books in the. Uh, the bounty okay. hunter wars books i believe yeah so there's rumors of that uh, being a show that sort of is like a solo two-esque thing a continuation of that story and maybe mall around that time like it could all mm -hmm. line up and they could do something really cool with it 
Um, my personal thing is that I actually think it could oh, be I like, mixed. like I, I actually think Boba would be great just as a sort sort of like tangent on. He's still a kid though. Man. Like he is, he is, but he would perhaps be interested in clones. I, you know, depending on how that whole thing is going, or maybe he's just in it to win it for the, uh, for the prize bounty on um, Omega. You know what I mean? Omega. But, uh, I think my personal choice would be Mace Windu. I would love for it to be Mace Windu. And, you know, there are there were rumors that Mace Windu could potentially be coming back, that there could be a Mace Windu show. You know, oh. there, there's all kind of like rumbling. So I think it could be a cool place to put Mace. But uh, a lot of people, when I sort of floated this idea to some people on, on one of my live streams, they said that you shouldn't do this in animation. Like if you're going to bring Mace back, it should be like a live right. action. It's, it has to be live action. So, yeah. So you, and I think yeah. they, I think they followed that, that um, sort of formula where if, you know, if someone comes in a video game, you got to continue his story in the video game until you eventually flesh out a story enough where you bring him in live action where people know about him and stuff like that. Like yeah. they, what they did with Ahsoka, they took forever. The two different shows, Clone Wars and Rebels, and then eventually live action. Yeah, um, and it's crazy because people really clamored for Ahsoka for a long, long time. But I, I was always under the impression, and I could be wrong, but I was under the impression that it, that was sort of Dave because they would they would never do anything with her without his approval. So he mm -hmm. was pretty hesitant to like sort of lend her out to different stories and different things like that, right? Um, but you know, now with him having the, his sort of new position and also just sort of being a driving force of creativity over there, like we could see, I think that he, especially if it's a, a Dave thing or something that like he's been working on or playing with, yeah. I would say he, he's willing to just bring them in. But if it's somebody else's toy, you know, like a Cal Kestis, maybe not. Um, Cal Kestis yeah, is I don't great. Know. I, I, I'm, I'm super interested with this story. I just... Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get it in the show or we're going to continue that in the game. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I would love for him to, because if, if some of the rumors of like Luke's Academy and them going big on like actually bringing back Jedi, yeah, if they do that, then like Cal's perfect for that. You know, he would be great. He would be a great person to have there. Um, and the games could tie into it. I mean, it's just, it's really cool, right? Like I, I love the idea. I guess it's just a matter of whether or not they're going to commit to that, you know? So, well, the thing with know. Cal is he's alone, so he's going to need someone, like some sort of mentor or something. So who's going to be his mentor? Is it going to be yeah. Ahsoka? Is it going to be okay, Mace Windu coming back? Well, let uh, me ask you that, because that's kind of where my head went. It could be Mace, but would you be cool with that if he came back in the game and then maybe they did some live action yeah, stuff? Yeah, be cool or? with that. Yeah, be cool with that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, sure. I would do. Yeah, I think, I th honestly, I'd be fine with him coming back in Bad Batch. To be honest with you, I don't think you want to fully flesh out like how he survived or like what he's doing. But like, I think you could put him in there and just sort of tease it out and, you know, maybe even yeah. have him stealing baby Grogu from the temple or something, you know? Well, and that's the thing is, you know, well, I don't think we're going to see Grogu stuff until mm, maybe Mando three or Obi-Wan. Yeah. Are we, are we still getting only six episodes for Obi-Wan? Is that what the scoop is right now? I do believe so, although it's been a while since I've like actually checked in on that. I think that was originally the thing. I think it went from like four to six, and then I think they're sticking to the six. Um, I hope it's not four. Well, the, originally, I think it was like a movie script that then they had in four pieces, and then they tried to make it longer or something. I don't know. Like, there's, there's a lot of different things that I've heard about the first version of it, but... Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I I'm generally really excited for whomever this will be in Bad Batch, but um, you know, there's also this rumor that uh, Bosk is going to pop up in Book of Boba Fett, which somebody, which know, is the next thing we want to talk about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just see like a if Book of Boba Fett, if they're going hard in Book of Boba Fett, I think they. Will. I mean, why not do crazy. a little? Why not have Mace kind of you know in the fold there? I think that would be really fun. He has this history with boba obviously we we want to see maybe either boba get vengeance you know what i mean i definitely don't think they're going to get along you know so that'd be kind of fun you know to see that kind of a thing uh play out but would but, you want to see boba kill mace like i mean because we know I, yeah boba's live you know until i gotta be honest i kind of would just because like if you think about it 
Boba currently, like one of the things that always sort of comes up about Boba is this idea that he's really never done anything that incredible, like in the movies or like, they're like, why do people like love Boba? Like, I don't see it or what whatnot. If he has, what I would do is he's not, he can't just, he can't just like make him look like a punk. He can't, he can't punk out Mace Windu. No. I would say you drag that over a whole first season or something, right? And maybe have him have a couple encounters with him and then eventually take him out. That would be like a big notch in the belt of Boba. Um, and if they're going to really push Boba forward and maybe even make him like the ruler of Mandalore, it would be sick if he killed Mace Windu. Like, I'm, I'm kind of here for it. I love Mace. But I would, I would really. It's not as gonna a Boba happen. Fan, it's oh, not gonna man. happen. It'll as never happen. As a Boba fan, I'd be feeling pretty good about that. I'll tell you, dude. Mace is the most overpowered character in Star Wars. He, the guy, is. literally, is a hack for everything with Shatterpoint. Like, what the hell is that? And then if he goes right. up against a, a dark side user, it's Vapod, and he just uses their energy on them. Like, who? What the that's hell? Right. So yes, and that's totally true. But he would be older. He would have one hand, uh, and he'd likely the force itself would probably be diminished a little bit at this time, right? So maybe he wouldn't even have access to his full. Uh, I don't think abilities. so. I don't think so. I think he'd be more powerful. More powerful, you say? Well, because he used the dark side, right? So you he, think he might turn? No, I don't think he'll turn. I think he'll just use more of it now. Hmm. That's kind of turning, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like, that's kind but of turning. But the thing with yeah. Mace is that, and this is why he's so OP, is because he uses that Vapod thing, yeah, and he uses does. the dark side to channel more power. Yeah. And just uses it to, to funnel more energy, but he stays within the light. I don't know. I think, I, I want to know what the chat thinks. Maybe we can get them in on this. Okay. You guys let us know. What do you think? Boba or Mace? Who do you got? Who do you got in the fight? I'll tell you, this would be way better than friggin' Mayweather logan paul that's for that's for sure this would be a oh, yeah fun. yeah whatever logan made what 20 million i don't know they got to give a lot of those pay-per-view buys back on showtime that's all i'm saying so i don't know whatever they get a chunk right. of the pay-per-views chat who you got let's see here a lot let's of mazes, a few bobas uh boba to avenge his father I like yeah that. boba would be cool but it's just, it if that happened i'd be like there's no way it's just oh, Im impossible. There is a way. It's Boba. And then play like some sick like Boba music. Let's go. Yeah, I'd love to be a millionaire. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> You'd probably do all right with it. You know, he's just so mm. weird without getting into it. He's just such a weird fighter, man. The way he fights is so weird. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great fighter. What can he's I say? An incredible fighter. Yeah. Not always the most incredible to watch, though, you know? Nah, but he's smart. I think he's more Very of a businessman than than. Yeah, I mean, dude. I mean, he's, he's athletic as hell and he's talented, but um, he yeah. knows what he's doing. He, he doesn't. I feel like he pulls ego out of it, and he's just very collected. He's been very intelligent with the way he's used sort of the end of his career and the new social media age. Like, it's pretty smart. Like a lot of people don't. Like a lot of people in boxing really look down on what he's doing and, you know, kind of crap yeah. on it or whatever. I think it's really smart. I think it's uh, it just shows that he's like you said, he takes at least that part of his ego out of it and just understands the new attention economy and stuff. So oh. no, I have a lot of I have a lot of respect for him for sure. I love Boba that Boba with, with the help, help of Maul. Yo. Wow. Oh, that's pretty sick. And maybe a few of those troopers. Ooh. Oh, I love that. I love yeah, that. I do like that. Be a good theory. Like that. That'd be nice. Um, it's gonna be like Maul versus Obi Wan on ten. There's no way Boba beating me. Yeah, that's not happening. I think you could do it. You really I think, think it... Boba Fett could beat Mace Windu in a fight? Yes. Now look, not like uh, Jedi at the height of their power, m Master of the Council, both hands, Mace Windu. But I'm saying a Mace Windu that has survived that watched all of the jedi die has like just kind of gone a little bit crazy maybe maybe dipped a little too much into the dark side and is a little unpredictable and unbalanced you know uh maybe maybe that mace windu gets beat by a uh, boba coming up on his prime bro because right he's younger right so he'd be coming up into his prime years i'm gonna go with this comment know, right? right here i, I think you no way no way another josh another josh is gonna do me like that i don't like it 
Yeah. I don't like it. Anyways, um, yes. going forwards, what do you want to see in the Bad Batch? What do you think it's going to go? I mean, we've got we have what? Ten, is, it, is it 16 episodes or 14? I think it's Does 16 it keeps... episodes. Okay. Yeah. I think so I we got... what I really need to see is Crosshair. I need to see Crosshair back immediately. It's getting a like, little boring. We have not seen him. Not boring, but it's just it's three it's, episodes. Yeah, it's yeah, just not fulfilling up to its potential. Hey, look again, I actually like the show. I'm having a good time with it. I'm not I'm not down on Bad Batch, but it's not the it's the type of show that like you're gonna go tell your homies like you need to watch this. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not that. I remember speaking of Boba, that remember that episode in Mando too, man, where he like rolls up for the first time and just goes to town. He was like okay. John Wick. Bro, yeah. I was at a I, after that episode that weekend. I was at a buddy stormtroopers. I forget what we were doing, but like it was one of those things where I made all my buddies that aren't really Star Wars people watch that episode because I was like, "No, you gotta watch this. It's awesome!" And they loved it because it was incredible. So there's nothing quite like that going on in Bad Batch, unfortunately. And I think Crosshair is their best bet to get back to that. So hopefully that, hopefully more Crosshair, and then um, you know, Wrecker's probably gonna snap, try to kill him. Look at that beauty, Cody and Crosshair and Wrecker. Where, where the hell is Cody at this point? You know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that would be really interesting. And of course, getting linked up with Rex or Ahsoka would be incredible. But um, yeah, I just that's sort of my my expectations are kind of furthering furthering the growth of Omega, bringing in some other characters, but really teasing out her growth for a while, um, and then really turning it up. Probably with the last six episodes, I think will really turn it up. This this reminds me of that one episode we did. We said we we're going to make a series of them, the versus battles. Yes, dude, I had a lot of fun with that. But we're we got to go back so and do it, man. It, I know. Yeah, we got I mean, to. Dude, we got yeah, to. Yeah, but um, we could even do it on a live stream. We could totally do it on a live stream and still have yep. someone edit it too, and just be like, "Yo, edit that up." Yeah, I got my boy Nick or my yep. buddy Steve O, who's if Yo, he's watching, dude, I love you. Thank you so much. No, that one was really fun, and I think that we both sort of disagreed about that too but we were able to bring up you know different points about, i love when uh, we disagree because then it's it's yeah. it's interesting What's yes this? i'll take I agree. one of what josh has been smoking please mace would wipe the floor with boba's <laughs> stupid looking face joking but not joking you know i feel you how i'm with you, dare you? but we would need the best car spear to have a chance against mace no he, even if he had the spear he would get absolutely demolished you guys are grapple him up. fans. Where's Vito? Where's Vito grapple when we need him? Hit him with that little grapple thing. And then Mace is like trying to get out of it, but he's only got one hand. You know? Oh, you, didn't knight, you didn't knight a member. Oh, I'm sorry. Darth Baba, you are a nerd venger now. Welcome to the nerd ventures. And how odd of you to. I like how he paid me for that. I know, right? <laughs> now I feel even worse. Thanks, like, man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, whatever he paid me to get to didn't we feel exactly the same after the, after the during the martez sisters arc and clone Wars season seven same about what uh just like meaning like we weren't that into it or whatever i don't know what you mean i just don't like their characters I, i'm yeah like they just didn't really do anything really interesting to me and they seem to be sort of an injected uh sisterly you know female perspective which is fine like that's to like there's literally nothing wrong with that it's just like the fact that we showed up for season seven with thoughts of the siege of mandalore right and we're just f so focused on that and even the obi-wan anakin stuff was awesome and then you just break to the martez sisters with ahsoka which wasn't even that cool of action and stuff like that so it's like no yeah. i don't know for me there was a lot of stuff working against it it just didn't it didn't slap didn't what do you slap. what do you think about this right here uh what mr rage is saying boba fett in some situation with mace windu he might forgive him so i thought about this because i love that idea and I, you know i'm a, we're both big dragon ball fans so we love this idea yeah. like vegeta turning and all that right i just don't see it man how is boba especially with the way we saw him get mad when Bo called his father his donor or whatever and you yeah. see he got like pretty upset about that i just don't see a character like that being like and able to forgive no. what he saw like there's just no way bro Do you so, guys are not realizing that uh, boba as a little kid had to take his dad's severed head out of the freaking helmet yeah that's crazy it on. like yeah imagine seeing that yeah i mean messed up yeah and 
There's no way. I mean, there's no way. And by the way, like you see that purple lightsaber, uh, that's being grained in your. There's only one Jedi that we know of that has a purple lightsaber. So Boba would instantly know, bro. It's not like he's. Gonna, there's no confusion. There's no confusion. He's going to know exactly who it is right away. Um, and he's going to be pretty hot. Wow. He's Boba gonna... Bosk, Dango, Mando. How would you feel about a team up against Mace Windu? Maybe that could be a way to bring him down. That could be pretty crazy. I'd be into that. Yeah, that'd be yeah, wild, yeah. man. That would be wild. I mean, there's a lot of potential for cool stuff, uh, you know, in Book of Boba. And I'm glad that the comics are having fun with the bounty hunter wars and all of that. I mean, it just shows, like, yeah. you know, again, not to not to you know get grumpy or, or or you know take any enjoyment away from from sequel trilogy fans, but I think that it's just kind of becoming pretty obvious that uh, turning merchandise and stories back towards fan favorite characters and just getting you know characters that people love engaged in the stories is way more effective on all fronts so yep. i'm pumped bro i want to and the thing is if if it is something you like as a fan you should get out there and support it. You should, like try to let them know the best way you can that like we like this we're going to support this this is what you should be doing more of you know what i mean yep. I, I actually do want to go check those comics out so i uh I'm invested, man. I like uh, I like where we're going with this. What's up, Backswing? How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Member of the Nerd Council. Indeed, he's always on. Hit me up on the uh, TikTok too, on the Tiki Talkie. I don't do it as much as I should, though. I've been, I've been watching your TikToks. I don't open yeah, that much I, anymore, but it, it's I, fun. That's the same with me. Same with me. Yeah. No, thanks, man. I I had fun with the ones I did, but it's just like I don't know. I'm trying to get better at it, but it's not really I'm not really into it. I like older. the I like the YouTube side of things. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's just yeah, I don't know. They're both it's fun. Just a little more my speed, you know. But different strokes, different folks. I get it. <clears throat> we saw the shadow of Django's head fall out. Mm, where? I don't think so. I think there's been a lot of fan art of that. Yeah, but it wasn't real memes, but general theory and josh always fun to listen to unless you're vader or sidious you will not beat mace shards of the past mm, i don't know interesting hey they're a big fan any news on vader part two is there any delays because of covid yes big delays yeah bro just like the rest of the world so just just and i've said this a million times um it, it, i'll say it super quick if i go down to the states I can't right now. I'm from Canada. And if I go down there, then I'll have to get a permit to film. Then I'll have to have everyone COVID tested. So it'll be like over 100 people. And then if someone gets sick, it'll be delayed for two weeks. And that'll cost even more money. And for a fan film project, I need to save as many cents as I can to put it all into post production because that's where um, a lot of the magic is going to happen. So I'm just going to wait several more years until this is done but the option is also there to do it in um cg but I'd, I'd rather really just wait and do it uh live action but if you guys want cg then i mean it, it's just not the way i want the story to be told though so yeah yeah it's gonna continue hey, yeah. it's, it's still wild out there you know what yeah. i mean as far as trying to get that stuff figured out yeah oh it'll happen for sure i'm not one to start a project and not not finish it uh, I meant that we felt season seven was lacking during the arc with the sister, but then the show turned and was okay. amazing. Just to write it out. Yeah. For, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, but to be fair. Yeah, I, I hear what he's saying, but again, I'm not down on the show. I, I just think it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's just not slapping like that, but that's fine. Like, dude, trust me, I'm a huge Rebels fan. There were a lot of filler episodes of Rebels. There were a lot of offshoot episodes of Rebels. I still love uh, Rebels, you know what I mean? I'm going to walk away from Bad Batch probably absolutely loving it. Um, but, you know, just got to be real. Boba already attempted to assassinate Mace a few times in the Clone Wars, which is true. Yeah, I don't think you would try to work with him now unless... Uh... There was a... Um... I don't know if people know this. There's a uh, concept art from Revenge of the Sith during the fight with Obi-Wan and Anakin where this giant Mustafar spider scorpion like huge thing is fighting them and they have to team up. And it never happened. But it would have been cool. It would have been really sweet to see. I'll, I'll make a video about it. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool to see um, if that would have happened. But would have been the last time that they fought as uh, 
uh, brothers and then, you know, kept trying to kill each other. Hmm. Star Wars Meg would be an amazing guest interview collaboration to have on Nerd Theory. I still don't know who that is. Yeah, I've uh, I've watched a few of her videos. I like her videos. Um, I think she's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Star Wars Meg. And uh, I, I'm down for such a thing as when we uh, when we do it again, Star Wars Meg. I, I think she's all right. Cool. Okay. I'm down there. Um, but was one of the best Jedi killers after Darth Vader. He could definitely take old one-handed broken mace. There we go, Jade Nelly. My uh, man, Jade Nelly. You guys are My smoking. Man. You guys are smoking. My man. Um, yeah, is Theory and Josh time. made out of glue? Yeah, we're made out of glue. How did you know, Jay Jolly? That's it, by the way, it's rude to say that to people that are made out of glue, like saying it right to their face. You're gonna get canceled for this. Yeah, that's glue discrimination mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not cool. which is not cool i didn't i wasn't chosen i wasn't it wasn't my choice to be made out of glue okay yeah man who's your favorite jedi boy personally me anakin boy or man yeah does it matter um, um i mean i would say young obi-wan from the young jedi qui-gon jinn is my favorite jedi which shout out to liam neeson's his birthday today as well as yeah. dave filoni yeah. so everyone go blow up dave filoni's twitter Send him a happy B. I don't know how old he is today. 40 something? Uh, be, he's probably in his 50s. Cowboy Dave? What? I'm going to say he's in his 50s, dude. No, he's not. He looks good, man. He does look good. 47, dude. dude like I said, he's 47. Come on now. <laughs> he's not in his 50s. Come on now. Damn. Jeez. <laughs> I know. And that's my boy, too. I thought he was like <laughs> early 40s, man. Yeah. Well, I mean. Ouch. You know, the dark side is a pathway to many gray hairs, you know, some considered uh, uh he looks good hidden under a cowboy hat. Uh Yo, let me hey, talk, at least he's got hair this, under uh, there. Yeah, talk about what you want. Yeah. I'll talk about this this uh Michael Waldron guy and also this is interesting because it sort of ties into um Who's something that? that we've been talking about. So Michael Waldron is the writer of the Loki series. Um he's also the guy that Kevin Feige tapped to be the person to write Star Wars for Kevin Feige's supposed Star Wars, uh, the one that he's producing that who knows when it's actually going to happen, but apparently it is still a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but there's an article over on the hashtag show, and they have a quote from Dan Harmon. Are you a um, Rick and Morty guy at all, Theory? Uh, I've seen Rick and Morty. I haven't seen all of it, though, but okay, I yeah. do enjoy it. Yeah, so people are crazy about that show, right? Um, Michael Waldron was a Rick and Morty writer and he mm -hmm. interviewed with Marvel and then they absolutely loved him and they pulled him over. He designed Loki. And then when Scott Derrickson left Dr. Strange two, he was tapped by Kevin Feige to write with Sam Raimi, Dr. Strange two into the multiverse of madness. Then they signed a massive deal with this guy. Sorry, really can I, talented. can I cut you off? Sam yeah. Raimi is working on Dr. Strange two. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. It's going to be sick. Yeah. And they're going to bring Toby back in Strange 2? So, Strange, Toby is rumored to be coming back in uh, Spider-Man 3, but a lot of people think he will also potentially show up in uh, Doctor Strange 2. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, which would be nuts, for sure. For sure. Okay. But, well, that's another, that's a whole, that'll be a stream for another day. But, um, <laughs> I will say, the whole point of this story is that Michael Waldron gets tapped by Feige to be the writer of Star Wars, the Kevin Feige Star Wars. OK, okay. and Dan Harmon, who is the guy that uh, created Rick and Morty, who a lot of people know and, and like this dude, he had a very right. interesting quote about Star Wars and talking about Michael Waldron. So I just want to read this quote. He Go says, forward. Star Wars is definitely sticky. If you take it too seriously, you're doing it wrong. If you don't take it seriously enough, you're definitely doing it wrong. It needs that total joy of the greatest franchise ever, along with a kind of swagger. I do think that Waldron would make a good match for that, but I don't know if he would make a good match for the machine that's carrying that stuff. Emphasis added. Uh, and he's talking about kathleen kennedy and disney star wars and he's kind of just saying that like essentially he's saying that he thinks this waldron dude would be perfect for star wars but he's not going to mesh likely with what kathy and lucasfilm currently have and 
one of the reasons that this is kind of interesting is because it sort of goes back into this thing we've heard a lot of discussion about with regards to like Kevin Feige and Kathy Kennedy and perhaps some butting of heads behind the scenes and perhaps, you know, sort of differences of, you know, opinions on what to do with this franchise. Um, and so I'm just kind of interested. I'm interested in what you think. I want to see what the chat thinks as well about just like, do you agree that Star Wars needs somebody that's going to have sort of a, a creative swagger, the balls, so to speak, you know, to take it in a new direction while also nailing that that sort of feeling. You know what I mean? What do you think? Um, well, Ryan Johnson took it in a new direction, so you know. <clears throat> so, so how, what what exactly sort of. do you what exactly well, do you because, mean? Because so I think that Ryan did take it in a new direction, but he was playing with the legacy characters, and he was sort of playing with that pre-established uh, not only JJ story but really George's story, right? So. <laughs> I guess don't. what I mean is like, and we both have agreed that, you know, maybe Ryan would have done all right if it's not those characters and whatever, right? So kind of on his own new characters, new journey, mm -hmm. Ryan might have been the guy for it. Ryan's off the table now. None of us want to see it. Maybe some of you want to see it. God bless your, your heart. But right. um, my point is, I think this Michael Waldron guy, man, I'm hearing a lot of good things about Loki. I'm excited about Doctor Strange. I love good creative talent that's on the rise. I find it so interesting that Dan Harmon would make those comments that to me completely sum up exactly the type of creative you would need to take star Wars in a new direction. Well, why do you also, say that? Because I think he's exactly right by saying you need someone that's going to play to the, that feeling of the greatest franchise ever, right? It has that star Wars feeling, but it has to have a swagger. Like, in a sense, this is what the prequels did. Like, they're bold in the way that they take Star Wars and go in this sort of really new, unprecedented direction. And the sequels just really didn't, right? So I think outside of being a really successful commercial project, you need a creative that's not only really good at what they do, but that is bold, man. We need to see something. Like, you, you and I need to say... You and I need to sit on a podcast after the new Star Wars movies and be like, whoa, I never thought I'd see this in Star Wars, but I'm so glad I did. Right. Because right now we're seeing the same things over and over again, you know, like literally the same things, the same designs of ships, the same empire sort of, you know, recycled the same dark side, light side conflicts, the same. I mean, literally, you know, super weapons, uh, you know, all the yeah. rest. So. I just think that uh, we need a new era then if you want yeah, to see. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like a new era. But I think this guy would be perfect for it. But I guess I'm just it's, it's just interesting. You know what I mean? To, to have a why guy do you like, think he would be perfect? Well, I think that it's too early to say for sure because we got to see Loki. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty excited about what I think he'll do in Loki. I also happen to be a big time Kevin Feige fanboy, and I think Kevin Feige is the greatest producer of all time. So if Feige is handpicking this guy to write his Star Wars movie, which in the Variety article, by the way, they make mention that both Feige and Michael Waldron, their first love is Star Wars. Like they like Marvel. Like, don't get me wrong. They like Marvel, but they actually love Star Wars more than they like Marvel, both Kevin Feige and Waldron. So it seems like they're the perfect sort of team I get excited just thinking about it. And then I think about Kathy and I think about Lucasfilm that is currently, you know, there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, that's not really an exciting prospect. That doesn't get me excited in the same way that like a new, fresh, swaggered out uh, take on Star Wars would get me excited. So I guess that's that's sort of my answer is his connection to Feige and uh, just the hype I have for Loki, man. I really think it's going to be incredible. You're just a Feige fanboy. Like, I might be. Okay. Anyone who's I friends with you. This is Josh. Wait, wait, wait. New guy with directing Star Wars. Who's he friends with? Yep. That's exactly oh, Feige? it. Oh, dude, this is going to be amazing. Holy That's exactly Lord. what it is. You know it, dude. I know. You know, I know it. Know Any you. friend of Feige's is a friend of mine. <laughs> um, I, dude, I don't know. Yeah, like Feige did a great job with Marvel, but you know, will he do a great job with Star Wars? Um, I don't know. I've never seen him touch Star Wars, so yeah, yeah. I mean, I that think, being said, uh, Taika is going to be lit, as X Wing says. I'm a big Taika fan, yeah, me and too. He, did, he look, he has a resume a little bit with Star Wars with Mando, so obviously, mm -hmm. 
just something to go off of there. But Feige, I don't know. I mean, he's talented. He's knows what he's doing. But um, yeah, Star Wars is a. It, you can't just take. You can't just be talented at making movies or producing movies and then go into Star Wars and apply the same formula and be like, hey, here you go, success. It doesn't work like that with Star Wars. Like, and the same thing with Harry Potter and and um, these franchises that are so deep rooted. Um, you can't just go in there and apply these Hollywood formulas of making movies and blockbuster films yeah. and think it's going to work. Yeah. It's no, not. I agree. I agree with that 100%. I don't think that's what this guy would do and i i I guess it sort of comes from a place too of my anticipation for what they're lining up for marvel in the next couple of years and like how just ridiculously ambitious that's going to be and how crazy Mm. it is it's like i want to see that level of detail and attention given to star wars so it's like i totally feel you and it would be different it would be like legos versus like i don't know connect or something like it's you literally it's like literally different pieces built in a different way but i at least at the end of the day what's a producer's job it's to pull together the talent that produces the thing and i mean you know i just personally think that this dude doing this with this crazy rick and morty writer that's just kind of a fun story for me i'm like into it i'm like man this is great like i I think this dude's probably super talented. Feige has a general plan and you know, you love creative partnerships like that. That's why we like Dan or that's why we like uh, John Favreau and Cowboy Dave, right? Cause their partnership and the way that they collaborate, it clearly works. It's created an incredible sure. product. So it does work. Yeah. You're I think right. um, I would just be excited to see that team. Give it a shot. That's, that's basically where I'm at. Right. Is I'm like, dude, like, okay. So, so Darth Dever is saying, you're, you're essentially just shipping for the fact that he gives so much attention to detail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would, yeah, I think that he's saying attention to detail, but also like it's, it's beyond mm-hmm. the detail of the thing. It's, it's production, like meaning um, the little teases, the way things pay off, you know, the, the fact that he will, you know, have certain movies filmed at certain times to be able to show footage at different comic cons and stuff like that. Like it's an attention to really just feels like, the fans it just feels like somebody that that gets what the fans want and okay. finds a way to facilitate it you know um okay and i think marvel to be fair to your point marvel's easier dude it's so much easier like there's not it's not the same as star wars star wars is the fan base is divided it's sacred to some people you know what i mean like marvel really ain't sacred to anybody like i love marvel but it's not sacred it's comic book fun it's pulpy fun right i think it takes some of the edge off of it the stakes aren't as high star wars feels like you're you're being like told some cave painting perennial type stuff that like really hits your soul like that's how it feels to me um i would just like to see what i think uh, that team could do with that sacred cow man with that sacred cow so um, uh, going back to the the Django head thing being pulled, his head being pulled out of his helmet uh, when Boba picked it up. Um, a few people in chat were correcting me on that, and yeah, stand corrected. Check this out. What? Mm-hmm. You actually see his shadow. All right. So. <laughs> There's a sh- his head. Oh! You see his head. You saw but that, is right? That, yeah, I saw it. But is that on the YouTube though? Because I think that's fake. Yeah, I never noticed that before. That looks fake. But it does look fake. But you know what? I mean, it, it's. Um, I want to know I who. Know, let me see if there's. No. I want to know who put that link in the chat because I think they're a liar. It's not a link. It's not a link. It's not a link. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Yeah, it's dude. Not every. Fake. Uh, let me let me Disney Plus this because then you know it's real. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. But then George, have it say McClunky. As if you give me any longer, I can uh, a longer period of time, I can go and pop in the the old DVD. Uh oh, DVD time! Get the popcorn, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're doing DVD night. DVD. People are saying it's real. Yeah, I think it's real. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I saw somebody say that Marvel screwed up the X Men. Uh, oh, let them screw up the X Men, and then the pitchforks would come out. Yeah, I agree with that. No, I landed yeah. on my favorite scene. 
Jeez. Anakin going insane. Mm. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Mm. Please wear the helmet. Nah, oh, man, I'm not feeling it. It's already hot enough in this room. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, it's real. Dang. Okay, I stand corrected. I stand corrected, and everybody knows how much I hate to true. be wrong. So Me too. Me too. Yeah, I guess it's real. That's cool. So I guess, uh, okay, well, he had to go and pick up his dad's head. True. It's probably even worse. Yeah, come on, guys, as though that makes it any better. Jeez. I'm curious as to why Tech hasn't talked to Omega about the inhibitor chip since Tech is the brains of the batch. Maybe something will happen when Wrecker's chip acts up. I think they're going to find Rex for that. Yeah, I hope so. I, I think that would be a good way to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Josh, you got anything else to add? I I mean, honestly, uh, not We talked a bit. Really, I don't want to drag the show I mean, on. Yeah, we talked, uh, we talked about all of the kind of things that are out there. Um, again, Kevin Feige's the best. I'm a big Kevin Feige fan. <laughs> Kevin Feige's the greatest. He should probably do Star Wars. <clears throat> I'm just going to say it again. <laughs> uh, everybody should watch Loki. And, uh, yeah. That's about where I'm at. Uh, my buddy Knoxville says, look at the cast. They accidentally leaked that Ryan Reynolds was going to be in um, the the show we were just talking about, the, the movie we were just talking about, uh, Multiverse. Uh, Doctor Strange. Wait, what? Did you hear this? Deadpool's going to be in Doctor Strange? Okay, that makes Apparently. sense. Apparently. That's I don't sick. know. My buddy just literally messaged me that. I'll have to look into that. Dude, there was crazy Marvel news today. They they talked about this Namor, Namor being cast for Black Panther 2. And then... A, uh, <laughs> never mind. I shouldn't say this part because it's kind of a spoiler. But there's some really crazy news out there for Marvel. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. That's funny. Star Wars is the sacred cow and Marvel is a sacred chicken. Fans are fine with the chicken's head being cut off and will have fun watching the body run around. I mean, there's some truth there. You know, there's some truth there. It's a rather uh, weird uh, way to make Running happen. around like a chicken with his head cut off. I wonder where that came from. Because they actually do. They run around because their nerves are still going for a while. Do you know this from experience? I've seen it. I've seen it. I've actually, yeah, works with ducks too. That's all I'll say. Oh my god, dude. Deadpool versus Vader? Duh. Vader. Thoughts on Ahsoka finding Mace down and out? Okay. That would make sense. And then he's like, get out of here, citizen. And then she's like... <laughs> Honestly, I, I blame the entire events of Order 66 on Mace. I know. I've heard you go on about it. It's pretty interesting. I like that take, to be honest. Yeah. What if Django in clones is actually a clone? Oh, no. No, it's him. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. That's the real boy right there. Yo, there's also rumors of uh, crazy video games coming out later this year. What? What's? I know we've talked about this before, but what? Uh, you got anything on that? You heard anything? Or, uh, about what? About these crazy new video games that might come out from Lucasfilm Gaming? What new video games? I've uh, heard maybe Battlefront 3, maybe uh, Battlefront 3, maybe uh, Fallen Order 2, something like that. Is it going to be done by EA? Yeah, I think it's gonna be, yeah, I think it'll still be published by EA, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, we'll see. I mean, I'm really fiending for a good new Star Wars game. Me you know, too, bro. I keep going back me to the old too, ones and playing those. Yep. So I'm trust me, I'm with you, man. I could definitely use a new cool Star Wars game. What's your favorite uh, song? Oh, excuse me. What's your favorite song from Star Wars? Who me? Hmm. I, I honestly probably Ray's theme. I love Ray's theme, dude. Um, second, maybe Duel of the Fates. Um I like Luke's theme a lot. Um Luke's theme is probably my favorite of all time. But if you want to do something that like is very emotional, probably Anakin's Dark Deeds, um, Anakin's Betrayal. Mm. Those are good ones. Yeah. 
the 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 funeral song for qui-gon beautiful yeah true true yeah underrated underrated piece yeah for sure the end of that just in general the end of uh phantom menace has a awesome like that i love that 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 yes that's dope Yo, somebody, uh, one of the Nerd Avengers super chatted and said something about what if Boba and Mace f- ended in a tie? They both kind of got bloodied and injured and they ended in a tie. Would you accept a tie theory? No. What do you mean, no? Dude, you know Mace Boba's gotta walk away with that dub, son. Kick his like. ass. This is what a lot of people, a lot of like fans wanted in, in my episode two for Vader. They're like, can Boba kill Mace? And I'm like, no, this just wouldn't happen. Absolutely, it like just wouldn't. Him. Mace is the Mace beat Palpatine. Okay, I so know. what makes you think he's gonna be beaten by Boba or Vader? Yeah, it would def. But again, this is a Mace that's not. Uh, he's not in his prime. You know, maybe he's a little uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You know, nah, maybe he's spending a little too much time with the Martez sisters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Women weaken the legs. That's what they say. In oh Rocky. my god, dude! That's what they say in Rocky. That's all I'm saying. You're yeah, nothing but a tomato, Rock. <laughs> yes. You're yeah, nothing but know. a tomato. I think you're confusing Luke's theme with the Force theme. Luke's theme is actually the main titles. Okay, maybe. Uh, right. Okay, maybe well, maybe it is the Force theme, but you I know what I'm talking about. Parties, Andrew. I yeah, you're real, fun, be at real fun at parties. You know what I'm talking about? Whenever Luke does something amazing, it's. Na, 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 na. That's that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. There is no tie. Mace destroys Boba. Straight annihilation. Sorry, Josh. Dang, Kev. What the heck, man? You got beat. Yo, Any chance? Really into the uh, Martez, the shipping Martez sisters with Mace. People seem to be really excited about that in the chat. Oh. Really? I saw a couple. I saw a couple people. All right. Um, any chance Mace was in the Sith Temple under the Jedi Temple using Vapor to gain power and buying his time till he was ready for Vader and Palps? It's kind of an interesting theory, but no. It's in, yeah, it's fun. That's fun, hundred mm-hmm. percent. But uh, yeah, I just don't see that happening. There is no time. Mace destroys. Just, just bring that one up again. <laughs> just in case you forgot. Yep, I did. I was like, "What is this?" Oh no! Thank you, Muhammad. <laughs> uh, Andrew, all jokes aside, thanks, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're just messing around. Yeah. Seen the 1999 short film George Lucas in Love from the prequel days? What? No. What was that? On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you put Mace on being in the Bad Batch versus Book of Boba? Also, congrats on 3 mil. Here's to the 4 mil next. Oh, thanks, man. RG2088. Um, 1 to 10? Probably a 1. Mace on being in the Bad Batch versus Book of Asoba. Asoba. I just think if they're bringing Mace back, it's going to be so much bigger than the Bad Batch. Yeah. I'd say I'm probably at a 5 out of 10, maybe a 4 out of 10 on him being in Bad Batch. It's unlikely, but I could see it. Um, and as far as him being in Book of Boba, maybe slightly higher, like a five or a six. I still don't really like I don't feel all that confident in it. It's not like there's a lot of good evidence for it. It's more just something fun that I think would be cool for him coming back in Mando season two. Back then when I made that theory, I thought it would be like a seven. Mm-hmm. I was like, this could be mm-hmm. this could make a lot of sense. But yeah, um, right now, I, I it's fun to talk about and to, to speculate where he could be after this. But I don't think it'll happen in in bad batch thoughts on the sequel trilogy being set in an alternate universe where ezra never saves ahsoka in the world between worlds think about it luke would never find grogu um i'm gonna pass on that question yeah i just i don't like the whole world between worlds idea i'm not into it either i would nah. rather them just move on just move you know on what i mean just move yeah. On. yeah you know um, how would you guys end Star Wars? My idea is someone in super chat. You guys may have not seen it. Hmm? 
How would we end Star Wars? Why would you want to end Star Wars? It's not going to end. Long before I'm in the grave, long before, long after I'm in the grave and Josh is in the grave and everyone watching this is in the grave, um, Star Wars will keep going on. Yeah. And I'm pumped about that, actually. I think it's dope. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Oh, Cad Bane would be sweet. I'd yes. I actually, I'm, I feel like that could be something that comes out in the next couple of months for sure. Because that's something people would really want to talk about. I think Omega's got some latent powers. Thanks. I was I wasn't correct. I just think it's interesting that the main title of the saga isn't is Luke's theme again, proving how important he is. Absolutely, Andrew. We were just yanking your chain. We have an interesting sense of humor. I hope no no one ever takes us seriously, unless yeah. it's of course talking about Star Wars. Yeah, we were just playing around. But even then, those are just our opinions. Yeah. Theory, your name dropping stream was amazing. Congrats on three million. You inspired me to build my channel, support all their Star Wars creators. That's great, man. Maybe we could have you on Nerd Council someday. Heck yeah. Josh, where's the Boba helmet? Yeah. I got my that Boba helmet downstairs too. We should, uh, dude, we, we should, should. Yeah. Do a little Boba on Boba. Why can't the cloaked figure be Obi Wan? It would be a good introduction to the new Kenobi series. It would be, but I feel like Kenobi is right now is just very in exile and doesn't even want to risk having his uh, his image broadcasted anywhere. Yeah, he's he should be smarter than that. I mean. I mean, maybe it could be. I, I would like more of an explanation if that's what's going on. Right. How would we end the Skywalker story? Oh, man, that's too long of an answer. Yeah. Love to make a fan fiction about it. But um, it's just such a touchy subject now. You can't even talk about it. Mm -hmm. you know, well, you can, but, but but not without, you know, just people getting so bent out of shape. Yep. Yeah, it's just not fun. Off topic, Darth Clash was tortured into the dark side. He was 12, forced to do her bidding, go to war and kill Jedi. He hates her and wants to kill her. It's crazy. I don't know anything about Dar Darth Clash. I mean, uh, it seems fun, though. Me and my dad once had a conversation about how there is so much Star Wars merch out there that a million years from now, people will probably think we worshipped Luke and others as our gods. Well, it's yeah, true. I mean, um, today's movies are the equivalency of uh, mythological beings and stories. There's no difference. So, yeah, it's the modern it's a modern myth for sure. Um, and George, in some ways, was intentionally doing that. So it wasn't even low. It wasn't low key. He was doing it on purpose. You know, he knew what he was. He was working with archetypes and stuff. Mace was on a plane with snakes. What do you think would be his favorite Star Trek movie? Oh my gosh. It's a good Holy one. Cow. I like that. What a what a question. What a question, dude. Um, it would be an honor to join you guys on Nerd Council. Please let me know and maybe you and Josh can join us on Boomer Council with X Wing and, and the Star Wars Network. Something. Something like that. The Boomer the Boomer Council. I like that. I like that. That's fun. It's cool. Be, bring obsession on council. He has donated camera gear and microphones to me just because he's a good person who believes in me. Well, why don't you have him on your council then? He hasn't donated any cameras to me. <laughs> he's just trying to vouch for his boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Bring this guy on your show. He, he donated a lot of stuff to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Whenever we do it again soon. Uh, not my Star Wars says only one to six is canon. Yeah, that's what I think too. To that. But, uh, where is our Monday script acting encore? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> we did have fun with that. I've had a lot no. going on, so it's it's that's my yeah. fault. Uh, yeah. We do need to do that little skit. I think it'd be fun. I know. Dude, yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know what? You're going through the same. You're well. I shouldn't say that, but you're going through similar struggles that I've been going through recently. That's all I'll say. So we gotta, you gotta take time on that stuff, bro. Yeah. See, see, you can't say anything. Yep. You can't say anything. Ugh. I know. This is why I don't want, ever want to talk about it ever again. It's a strange world out there, man. Mm-hmm. That's it why is, that, unfortunate. This is why it's different than Marvel, bro. Because it doesn't. It's not like that with Marvel. Yeah. You just say some stuff back and forth, and then it's done. Hey, you know, you want to know the best fandom on the planet? Well, no, well, not the best, but the the most mm. 
positive hmm. Cobra Kai. Cobra, yeah, Cobra Kai. Is, yeah, Cobra Kai has an incredible community. Um, Dungeons and Dragons is pretty cool, but it's pretty uh, it's pretty divided a lot these days. Yeah. Hmm. Any chance of Calcutarn appearing in any media in the future? I would hope so. I would love it. I think yeah. Calcutarn is an awesome character. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, what's up, Musa? It's very generous of you. Hi, Star Wars. Would you agree to see at least one Star Wars movie to be directed by the following directors? Steven Spielberg, Christopher Mark, uh, McQuarrie, who did Mission Impossible 5 and 6. Dennis Villeneuve and Christopher Nolan. Yes, I would. Definitely Christopher Nolan. And Steven Spielberg, I feel like, would just do it pretty much essentially like George would. Yeah. Quite close. Well, so. there's a lot of rumors that Spielberg was the one that directed the fight between Obi-Wan and Anakin. Did you ever hear those rumors? I did hear those rumors, yeah. Yeah, because he technically would have had to do it like behind the scenes because of some weird guild rules. Mm -hmm. I don't fully understand it. Yeah, I think he did. I, I mean, hey, if I was George, I think him, I friends, George, like, yeah. and Nick Gillard really did the whole thing of those fights. But I mean, I it could be more to that. We shall see. Christopher Nolan's Star Wars movie would be really cool. It would probably be very dark as hell. Yeah, and also just really heady. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Love doing it. Doing some weird stuff. I I'd be into it. That's what I mean, though. Is like to look for something new. I think would be fun. You know. Yeah. I've been watching you since the ninth grade, and now I've graduated. Thanks for helping me survive high school. Love you, bro. Hey, I hope I help you survive college too. Yeah, man. If you're headed there. I remember college. I didn't like studying. I barely remember. I didn't like studying what I didn't like. But he also says Clone Wars show isn't canon. Who says that? Somebody who's wrong. What's up, McLovin? Yo, what up, here. McLovin? And again, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mohsen Zadeh. Appreciate it, man. George confirmed Stephen directed aspects of Revenge of the Sith. But where did he confirm that? It's in the bonus DVDs. Oh, he does confirm it? Yeah, there was something. Like, that's what I remember. I'm not mistaken. Ooh, there were some okay. things in the bonus DVDs where he was talking about Steven doing some parts of episode three. That's awesome. Yeah. That would dude to be a fly on that wall, man. Whew. Oh my God. That's why I love these making of books and the, the star Wars archives books guys tomorrow. There's a video coming out. I think you guys are really going to love it. It really talks about George's power level system. And I know I did this for the original trilogy, but for the prequels, so we get Mace Windu, we get Anakin Episode 2, Anakin Episode 3, Obi-Wan Episode 1, Obi-Wan Episode 2, Obi-Wan Episode 3. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I found it in that book. That's awesome. Yeah. It's I love stuff neat. like that, man. And it like opens up so much more into the aspect of the Obi-Wan versus Anakin fight and how they trained for it and everything. It's quite a long video. It's about 10 minutes or so, but um, a lot of information in there. Thanks for always putting on an entertaining show that is fair and fun for everyone. Keep up the great work, Nia and Josh. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. you. No Spielberg only did the previs for that fight. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch it again. Yeah, well, we'll just have to see, won't we? What if Mace beats no. Vader and without him knowing, Boba comes out and kills Mace before he can react? That's why Vader likes him? I don't think so. But, but it's a cool theory. But cool thing. yeah, which is more sad, Snape holding Lily Potter in his arms or Padme dying? Oof. <laughs> I think Snape holding Lily Potter in his arms. It's pretty sad. It's pretty damn sad. Yeah. Because Snape didn't turn into like this destructive monster that Anakin turned into. True. So it's like with Anakin, you, you kind of just put the blame on him, but with Snape, it's like... Yeah. A love that never was, you know? Yes, true. Uh, Josh, show me the love. I helped you fix your camera issue with the Magic Lantern. I'm always down to help you guys out. Banging the homies. You are great. <laughs> we love you, man. Yeah, dude. Love you, bro. Of course, I will show you love. 
Star Wars Obsession. Banging the homies. Yeah. Course. All right. Okay. And with that, I think we're done. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you want to darken different Star Wars, you got to watch the Ewoks movie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, hey, Nerd Dude, thanks for your amazing content. I'm very appreciative of what you guys do. We're appreciative of you guys watching. If you guys weren't watching, we would have a smaller audience, but we'd still be here. So. Um, very appreciative of what you guys do. It helps me escape reality so much. Y'all are the best. Thanks, man. Thank you for watching. Please continue to watch and check us out on Josh's channel, The Den of Nerds, as well as uh, my Spotify, my iTunes, I'm on Amazon, exclusive podcast every single day, a new one, new episode. And of course, on the forums at StarWarsTheory.com. Josh, do you have a website? Uh, we do. Um, we have a couple. If you go to the or uh, den of nerds live.com that's that'll take you to sort of like our live streaming channel stuff and some of the like nerd coin stuff that we do and then uh den of nerds.com but honestly don't go to den of nerds.com i gotta or the den of nerds.com i gotta fix that site up that site looks but it's not good it's not good don't go there just go to the youtube channel go to the youtube channels yeah den of nerds den of nerds live we'll be doing a watch party for loki tomorrow night it's gonna be sick i'll watch it tomorrow dude i'm excited yeah. I'm excited, bro. It'll be sick. I'm very, okay. very excited. Okay, stop sending super chats. I want I wanna I wanna go. <laughs> and I don't want to be rude. <laughs> yeah, Congrats right. Congrats again on three mil, Nia, Star Wars Theory. Um, Josh, love you and the Nerd Avengers too. Thank you both for your amazing communities. Florida meetup, please. Absolutely. I would love to yes. do a Florida meetup. Um yeah. when I film episode two, it's gonna be in Florida and uh, I'll bring Josh out there as well. Dude, I can't wait, bro. Dude. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, I might never it. leave Florida. Go down there to see this movie set and then buy a house or something. Uh, you going to come to New York City to hang? Wait, New York oh, City. New York Comic Con. New York Comic, New York Comic, Comic Con, Con to hang with the yeah. Nerd Avengers? I think When's that? In, so I think I got to double check. It's normally in October. I think it's still in October this year, but they might have changed it. But yeah, this is like one of the first big cons that's going to come back. So we're trying to get uh, a bunch of people. If to I can travel Comic outside Con. of Canada, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Dude, that would be sick, man. Comic Cons are such a good time. There's always fun Star Wars stuff there too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it'll just be. I think it's going to be pretty wild. Is it still happening? This one is going to happen. They they have some. They have restricted tickets, and then there's there's some still restrictions. And I think they're going to keep an eye on it because it is New York City, and you know New York got hit a little harder than other places. So we'll have to see. But they they have it planned. So they have tickets, and they have. They have promotion out, so we'll see. But I think it'll happen. Interesting. Wow, dude, you do not have to do that. Thank you again. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. How do you understand the way Kathleen Kennedy managed Lucasfilm since she took over in 2012 by the stamp approval of George himself, knowing she was the vice president of Lucasfilm for such a long time under Lucas's leadership himself? Um. I don't think she has done the best job that could have been done. I think uh, a better job would have been done. Well, look, I think she was handling too many things. Um, I think she is great at her job being a producer or, you know, but, but yeah. the creative side of the storytelling side, I don't think she ever, 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 ever should have dipped her toe into or had a say in. I think she should have done, you know, uh, continue to do her great work as a producer like she's done with so many other films um, and changed movies that we know today and, and the future of movies, you know. Um, but the creative side, no. I don't think she ever should have any sort of a ounce of creative decision in there because she doesn't know Star Wars. I really don't think she does. Um that being yeah. said, you know, George put her in there, and I trust George's judgment, but I don't think that he's ultimately very happy with what happened, um, judging by his comments and his um, lack of uh, physical appearance at the premieres. Yeah, man. He, it's pretty, I think we can all pretty much read into, you know, how George feels about it. I would say the only thing I would add to that is that at the end of the day, take out all of the decisions, ups and downs, drama, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If you just were blind to the past five years of Star Wars mm -hmm. and I showed you the box office gross for the first couple of Star Wars films, that includes Rogue One. And then I showed you the gross of the films at the end of the saga. And then I showed you toy sales at the beginning around that time of 
you know, the the Force Awakens, and then I showed you toy sales towards the end of the Skywalker saga. If I showed you the Rotten Tomato scores for the sequel trilogy, like you would just simply be able to walk away, like knowing that in some object ways, not subjective ways, but in objective ways, she did not succeed in what should have probably been a really easy home run. You know what I mean? At least a lot of people mm-hmm. would probably say like Star Wars is Star Wars. Like, so um, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Kathy, but I'm also not a big Kathy hater. And I think that Disney and Bob Iger play a role in forcing them to move faster. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different people involved, but ultimately the leader of the company is the leader of the company. You're the one that takes the, uh, yeah, you're the one that takes the, the sword as it were, you know, when you're the leader. That's yeah. The you, you take the blame and you take the praise. Absolutely. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, I wish her all the best. Of course, it goes without saying, but I don't think she's perfectly right for the creative side of Star Wars for the producing side. I have no experience, so I can't really say much, but um, she's done some great work with the Mandalorian, but I feel more of that, and I could be entirely wrong and incorrect here, but I think a lot of that, majority of that, is from John Favreau. Yeah, it's John and Dave, I would say, you know, oh. and I think that she gets credit for... I'm really interested, there were, there were leaked set photos, one just last thing on Kathy, there were leaked set photos today of her with uh, Harrison Ford on the set of Indiana Jones 5, and like, frankly, like I expect that movie will probably be really cool. She's a good producer. She knows that character and that world. Well, I think she really wants to make that film happen and usher that film in under her tutelage. Uh, and it might be amazing. You know what I mean? We'd have a lot to be grateful for and thankful for if that happened. But at the end of the day, she is the president of Lucasfilm. You know what I mean? And I just think that you can just look at Lucasfilm. And at the, at, if you're being as charitable as possible, say they're underperforming to expectations. If you're being less than charitable, you could say they're they're screwing it up, you know. Mm-hmm. But either way, my uh, confidence in Star Wars going forwards is very high, and I think the Obi Wan show will be something that many fans will be very excited to see, including myself. And I think um, we're gonna we're share a lot of laughs and and tears when it comes out. So I, I can't wait to yeah. see it. Hundred um, percent, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, see you Thursday night, man, and tomorrow for Josh. Faux show. Okay. Josh, Ahsoka beat Mando easily. Mace with two. I'm getting triggered. I'm going to put the helmet on for real now. I'm just... Do you think Boba would take Mando? Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Not even a discussion. You guys should have Doomcock and Mike Zero on your Monday's stream. That would be crazy and entertaining at the same time. I would sit. I would sit between these two and let them do their thing. I'm just talk. Yeah. Would, I don't know if they would do it. You know what I mean? Uh, look, I don't think. Maybe they're both have sources in an alternate timeline. Is what it is. They just they're getting things just slightly wrong because they're from an uh, alternate timeline, like from Loki. I'd be down to have them both on. Sure. I would too. Open invitation. Yeah, open but invitation. But I do want to ask some questions. I mean, Your I fans do can make it happen. Super rude. I'll be, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Mm. But also, like, I don't believe some of the things they say. You know. So. Yeah, uh, we've entered the late night for me. So let's get spicy. What's a Star Wars hot take? Unpopular opinion you both have. Hmm, what's a spicy Star Wars take that we both have? Unpopular. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the unpopular part is I wonder where I run. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't like Solo, but I feel like Solo is kind of in the middle for people. So I don't know if that's. I like Solo. Yeah. Um, um, I guess it's my unpopular opinion. Um, um, I like Jar Jar. I like Jar Jar Binks. How about that? I like Jar- well, a lot of people like Jar Jar now, though. Mm, yeah. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I don't know. I don't know if I have any just like really, really hot Star Wars takes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really care about opinions, to be honest. I just, you know, I think I I don't get, I think everyone has an opinion. It's doesn't have to be like yours. I think I feel like if everyone had the same opinion, it would be a very boring world. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Is Mace rumored to be in Bad Batch? What's the deal? No. I mean, there's some, it's like some rumors, but not really. Like, I wouldn't really say, like, no, nah, he's not, not heavily rumored to. Yeah, but what would you qualify as, like, a real rumor? So, okay, so the way I do this, and, like, everybody does this differently, right, is, like, if I heard a either a junket or an insider or a website that I was familiar with that I knew actually had sources and they reported something as a rumor, I would say, yeah, that's probably a true as a rumor. Now, what that likely means is like they heard something from a source, they couldn't get it confirmed, or it's so far away from production that it like it's not set in stone, right? So mm -hmm. these things change, and therefore, you know, I'd call it a rumor, or maybe it is just a rumor. It's something some some suits were saying, and somebody heard it or whatever, and it's telephoned down. Yeah. But there are other people I know, including like sources that I have that I know will actually look at documentation from whatever company. And right. that's not, I wouldn't call that a rumor. I would say that's like a scoop or a leak or a report. You know what I mean? So there have been some people that, that have said there's rumors of Mace, but I've not heard anybody solid say anything that they know for sure. So fair enough. Fair enough, my man. Well, I think that uh, concludes tonight's episode. Uh, thank you guys for chilling with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Ram Coda, first batch of clones. Where are they? Ram Coda would be cool to see, but then we got to bring Starkiller back too. Yeah, so. you can't do Ram Coda and not have. I mean, people would just be thirsty for Starkiller at that point. Apology accepted. Lol. now why you want to try to classify the type of thing we do because we because we're just fine doing what we like can we say the same for your for you tired of feeling all around animosity what i don't know what that means man i don't uh, know what that means either if you're feeling that then you need to change some things in your environment put yourself in a different environment remove yourself from these screens go outside and exercise get some sunlight fresh air Probably I don't know if he's talking to us or that was a reply to someone else. So I don't just I don't understand it. Um, because opinions are just that. That's why we love Ethereum and Josh discourses the past to uniting the fandom. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, we won't stop. Well, we love doing what we do. We love being you know, the, the stuff we talked about as kids or to do it as adults. As adults, yeah. <laughs> My man. I know, right? <laughs> Give me that. You know that. <laughs> Boom. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, no, wait. wait, 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 wait. But, Boom. <laughs> nice. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? All right. Um, well, we love you guys. Thanks for chilling with us. We will see you next week on Nerd Theory for another episode. And uh, we'll talk about Bad Batch and everything else that's going on in Star Wars. Um, we really can't wait to go forward with this and see, you know, how everything's going to roll out with all the new shows coming. It's going to be yeah. a fantastic time. And I feel like. With the Bad Batch, this is probably the slowest time right now that we'll have for many, many years to come, I think. Because after this, we have that. What, what's that show? Um, the, 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 not Book of, Book of Boba? Or? No, before Boba. Before Boba. Uh, There's that anime. Oh, yeah. Visions. Visions. Yes, Visions. you're right. Visions yes. will be cool to talk about. Visions rolling into cool. Book of Boba. And then we'll probably get show. Like, There's not just going to be one live action show next year, I think. Because they're doing all, they're doing a ton right now. So there'll probably there's be at least two next two, year. I think. Yeah, there's got to be. You could have your Obi and your Mando 3 or your Obi and your Ahsoka or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. Yay or nay on Luke's yellow lightsaber? Nay. I like yellow, but I don't know when Luke had a yellow lightsaber. Is that in the comic or something? <clears throat> Is that in a book? script read. We'll do. We'll do. All right, my people. I will right. catch you. We will all catch you in a little bit. Peace out. Peace out. See you. Wait. I'm going to find it. Hold up. Hold up. Cool. I'll do the robot.